Hello friends, welcome to our channel UG Mold Tech. Today we are going to learn about what is injection mold and what are the types of mold we have. Firstly, those who have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe to get our latest videos and updates. Now we start what is injection molding. Injection molding consists of a high pressure injection of raw material into the mold which shape the polymer into desired form. This is the injection molding machine. Okay, this is the mold. From here, we pour the material, raw material, it goes through the hopper, barrel, heaters and nozzle and finally it goes to the mold okay, to get the desired product. This is injection molding and the two plastic mold is made from a combination of steel plate and other mold component coupled to form overall mold. This is the other, this is the parts, okay, cavity, core, spacer, back plate, top plate. Okay, the stirring spools, these are the other element. Okay, the other thing is that cavity plate is generally mounted on the stationary planet and the housing in the injection nozzle. This is the stationary, this is the moving arm. The cavity is mounted on this. Okay, hope this is all clear about the injection molding. Now we move to what are the types of mold we have. There is generally six type of mold we have. First is two plate mold. Second is three plate mold. The other is hot runner mold. The other one is plate mold. The next one is insert mold. Or last is the unscrewing or threaded mold. These are the basic type of mold we have. Okay. Now we move on to two plate mold. Two plate mold. The two plate mold is the simplest single cavity mold where the core half and the cavity have opened to eject the mold part. This is the simple component which have no undercut, no threading. We can have as only single parting line. You can eject the mold. This is the commonly used and the product gate runner have a same parting line. As you can see here, the same parting line. Okay. There will be a single opening. There will be no multi-day opening. Only single opening. This is for simple product only. So student, we now will go to the 3D to see what is the two plate mold. This is the friend, this is the two plate mold we have. Okay. This will the register ring. This is the screw bush. This is the top plate. This is the cavity. This is the core. This is the spacer, both the spacer, ejector plate, ejector back plate, and the bottom plate. This is the simple two plate mold we have. I will show you the section of this one, it will be more clear. Okay, this is our register ring at the top. You, you can see the screw also. Okay, this is the core plate, cavity plate, core plate, then spacer, the ejector pins, ejector plate, ejector back plate, and the bottom plate. Okay, oh, this is clear about two plate mold also okay the other section we can see also here from here the machine nozzle will fit here to the screw bush the material will pass from here go to the runner and to the final product okay to plate the resistance is screwed with the top plate here is the bush you can see there are the ejector pins okay this is the ejector plate, ejector back plate. The other view you can also see. This is the two plate mold. Simple two plate mold we have. Okay, this is the simple two plate mold we have. So it will be clear about. Now we go to other one. So this is all about the two plate mold. Next we move on to the three plate mold. The three plate mold has two or more parting line. As you can see, the first one for the runner and the 
component second one is for the component okay there may be more than two parting line also okay this is mostly a multi cavity mode for our production in the product gate runner have different parting line as i have already said a major difference is the in the two plate and the three plate there will be one daylight in the two plate then three plate there will be more than one more than one daylight okay and the gating system mostly will be the pin point gate in the three plate in two plate submarine edge gate we can give okay now we go to the 3d so friends as you can see this is the three plate mode okay the registering top plate runner plate cavity core okay spacer ejector grid system okay and the bottom plate we can see the other section view also from here it will be more clear okay already i said this our two from here the machine will eject the material it will pass through the runner then gate then to the final product okay from this view also it will be clear to you this is the other view as you can see from here the material will pass okay this is the cooling channel here yeah. you can see the pin point gate here okay this is the pin point gate this of the things will be all the same okay the ejector gate spacer already we discussed in the two plate mold i hope okay you all got the three plate mold basically there will be one extra runner plate for the ejection of the runner okay next we move to other one hope this this all about the three plate you have cleared about the three plate next we move on to the hot run system basically there will be one manifold okay that is fixed in the top it will be a nozzle hot run nozzle hot tip okay and there will be no heat system okay the material is safe so we can have a very good cycle time and the production rate will be fast you can see the here the material will be poured here from the nozzle it passes through the air okay from the hot tip it will go to the cavity and there will be no wastage of material okay but basically the initial cost will be more as we have to buy the hot runner system okay hope this is clear about hot runner rest of the system will be same same as we can have ejector system will be same and right? top plate bottom plate all the different other part will be same but in the uh, space of cold runner there will be hot runner and the material will be saved so the production will be more okay okay next we move on to the split mold the complex component which have undercut mostly used to make in split this type of mold have uh, the cycle time is more because the ejection system will be take more time okay yes yeah, you can see here there will be a slider which will move here here and the machining cost will be more okay rest of the thing all will be the same as we discuss okay we will go to the 3d also and see what is the uh, what are the different parts we have the video you can see here how it looks okay
Okay, now we will move on to the ED. I hope it is clear. Then all of this thing is we will be moving on and the all of this go outside. Okay. Now we move on to the ED. This is the this is the ED. Okay. Now part of this part. This is the moving part. Okay, it will be like this only. Okay. And you should plug it in. You know the slider. Okay. Slider system we have. I will show you the full moon. You can see the section also. Okay. The our registering top plate screw, okay. The slider system, the, the core, okay. This is the cooling, cooling channel we have. This is the spacer, ejector pins are there, okay. The ejector plate, ejector drive plate, and the bottom section. It will be more clear. Okay, from this section you can see. You see, the screw it will come here. Okay. This is the slider system we have. Okay, finger cap. That is slider. Okay, this is the slider. Most of all the same. Ejector pin, ejector back plate. Okay. And in other section view also you can see. This is the cooling channel. Yeah. Okay. This is all about the split mode. Hope you are all clear about that split mode. Okay. This is the split mode we have. Okay. This is all about a split mode. This is the final split mode we have. Okay. Now we move on to the. Other. Hope this all clear about the split mode. In the split mode we have different side core. Okay. Other other dog leg cam. All we consider it is in a split mode only. The next one is insert mode. In this type of mode, material are molded. With the plastic, as you can see, with the copper one, which are being put inside the mold, and it is molded. This cycle time is usually more for this one. There may be automatic or manual system. Okay, so the time will be more, as you can see in the video. This is program. This is the robotic came and put the insert in the mold. The Plastic material injected and it is injected out again. It will be. It will. It can be done by manually or it can be done by robotics. Okay. So the cycle time will be more. So the production rate will be low. I hope it clear about insert molding. Rest of the thing will be same. Top plate, bottom plate, registering, screw bolts. Okay. Ejector gate spacer, rest of the same will be as we have discussed earlier. Also, okay. Next, we move on to the unscrewing or threaded. All the cap threaded, internal threaded, molded are all the molds are made from this unscrewing or threaded mold. There will be a rotating core, there will be a gear system which pull. Back you can, as you can see in the video. Okay, when the mold open, the core will rotate with the help of this gear system mechanism, and the pro uh, product will be ejected out. Okay, hope oh, this clear about the unscrewing mold. This you can see all the caps and internal threaded are made by this type of mold only. Hope oh, you clear.
about the types of mold different type of mold we have so please subscribe if you like my video thank you have a nice